So one video just wasn't enough for you, was it? Well, welcome to my second broadcast here on the Joe Dill Designs YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, I want to start showing you guys some like hands-on projects, things like that that I'm working on. So I thought the first thing that I could start out with is a really simple furniture flip, uh, remodel, redecorate, whatever, um, that will show you two basic things. Uh, one is how to spray paint properly, and two is how to upholster a chair seat, which is also quite simple. For this project, I had this chair that I was going to use for my sewing table, uh, and this is what it looked like to start. A little bit ago, I was given a bag of remnant fabric by someone which had a lot of really cool and a lot of really ugly fabric patterns in it and the one that I am going to take inspiration from for this chair flip is this awesome graphic black and white floral um, printed cotton, screen printed cotton, um, just because you know it's like it's very bold and it's very strong being in the black and white with a high contrast but then the fact that it is a floral print kind of gives it that soft um, feminine flair to it. So this is what I'm going to recover the chair seat in, um, which will actually be the second half to this video, so it's not terribly long. Uh, so this will kind of be like um, the Titanic on VHS. Typically you should probably prime something like this, but I am just, I don't believe in priming. I just like to go for it right from the get. So um, I will show you how to spray paint, and for that, we are going to need to go on a little field trip to my workshop out in the garage. So away we go. Welcome to my workshop. As you can tell, this is the perfect place to work in, um, surrounded by a lot of handy tools like a lawnmower and a old wagon wheel and some ladders. So naturally this is where I feel most at home. This is the famous chair in question that we will be respray painting. So basically, like I said, the first step that you want to do is to sand. I would suggest probably a medium to fine grit of sandpaper. Um, medium grit will get you done faster, fine grit will take a little bit longer. Most important thing about sanding is that you go with the grain of the wood. Now, on a piece like this where it's painted, who knows which way the grain is going? So I pretty much just, you know, sand in whatever direction I feel like. Sometimes a circular motion back and forth is also quite good. And then the next step is spray painting. So first, you might have noticed that I've done a little costume change, because it is very important that you are dressed properly before you engage in any activities like playing with aerosol cans. So. Just to go over what I'm wearing, what I would suggest that you also wear, uh, something to protect your hair. So I have on this nice uh, purple hat. Something to protect your eyesight. So I have these red glasses, uh, which I think complement the hat quite nicely and will protect my eyes. Something to protect your hands. So these gloves that I have on, uh, a nice yellow and gray color. You need to protect your air passageways because spray paint is pretty toxic. Um, so I have on this mask here, uh, which will ventilate the air that I'm breathing, and that way, uh, you know, I won't get cancer or anything. Well, at least not from the spray paint. You need to protect what you are wearing, because that's also very important, because spray paint will not come out of clothes, so once it's in, it's in. So uh, what I've done here is I've taken a, quite cleverly actually, taken a plastic bag and cut an a-hole for my head and my two arms to be free. Um, and what's nice about these is that they also come with like a cinch belt of sorts that you can tighten around your waist. Um, I would suggest going with probably a Glad Force Flex bag because, uh, you know, those tend to fit a variety of shapes and sizes. Um, this happens to be a hefty, but that's all right. Let's say I'm ready to go uh, for spray painting. Um, and what we're going to do is, since you saw the fabric, it is black and white, so I thought a nice high gloss white would be perfect for this chair because it would allow it to more subtly show off its features than having every 
Nokia and Prandi was a different color, and it like I thought was good at the time. So the type of spray paint we'll be using is a Krylon Indoor Outdoor High Gloss Paint. Uh, now on the can, it will tell you to shake properly, and as you shake, you'll hear, I don't know, some sort of something in there rattling around. Also, the can will tell you to do this in a well-ventilated area. Uh, and as you can see looking behind me with all the windows, uh, this is quite well ventilated where I am right now. So now, as far as actually spray painting, you're going to want to hold the can about a foot, 12 inches, away from whatever you're spraying. So just kind of think of it like hairspray. You don't spray right onto your head. At least I don't. So if you're a redhead, a blonde, a Hold the can a fair distance from what you're spray painting and then just push the button and just like that, the paint begins to come out and you'll see that the chair is changing colors now. Yes, it is. Okay. The other thing that you're going to want to keep in mind is to keep the can constantly moving because if you hold it in one place for too long, you'll get a lot of drips and runs and it's just not a good look. So constantly keep the can moving. Um, unfortunately, I'm not Martha Stewart, so I don't have a chair already painted to pull out and show you all. Instead of making you sit here while I do this, I think it's time for a little music montage, don't you? Hit it. <laughs> This is probably going to take a couple coats to cover, which is just fine. Don't worry if, you know, after one coat it looks, well, even worse than when you started. Alright, so that wasn't so hard, like I said. At least, I hope not on your end. I know it wasn't on mine. Um, although, it did start to feel like I was at a Snoop Dogg concert in the garage towards the end there. Uh, but anyways, the chair is all nice and white, looking fantastic in its new coat of paint and like I said I think this just gives it a more chicer edge or chicer I don't think more chicer is proper English it has a level of refinement now that I think it was missing when it was in all the different colors so stop back next week where we will be adding on the final piece and really amping up this chair taking it to the next level for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel you can find me on Facebook or Twitter um, slash Joe Dill Designs. You can also check out the rest of my stuff on JoeDillDesigns.com. Like I said, I'll put all the links in the description below. Well, until next time.